Don feels very personable, feels very human. He builds trust. He's funny. <laughs> He's funny, y'all. Like, I think that's the thing that surprised me most was like what, in one of our first meetings with him and he made me laugh. And I was like, wait, what? And for him to have seen me as a new leader or a new educator to see my potential or to encourage my potential when there were kids, I didn't see it. it it's amazing. And so I think he just does a really good job, a really good job at those personal, personal connections. He's just so insistent on listening mm -hmm. as a communication skill, that that is part of what makes him a better communicator. And so humble is absolutely how I would describe him. Don clearly is a leader among leaders. What he has been able to do is really being a bridge for our rural school district leaders in Oregon and our urban school district leaders in Oregon. How are you doing? And he is such an incredible champion for early learning, starting systems that were not in place in our state, and the systems have been replicated in district after district. So his impact is going to create meaningful change for lives of Oregonians for generations to come. And then finally, I think a lot about the way that Don can talk about his own equity journey. I think what has happened in the last few years and what he's been able to share with other education leaders in Oregon is a recognition that our own systems have been designed in ways that don't support every single student. I so believe that he believes in equity and it being a focus and has helped us shift in a way that really sets us up to continue to move forward and do great things. Yeah. He truly has been one of the most open and accessible leaders that I've ever worked for or with. And I remember him saying, I want you to have my phone number. And I thought, oh, that's hilarious. I'm never, I'm never going to call the superintendent. Um, but then one time I needed to call the superintendent and it was, Aaliyah, how are you? What's going on? What do you need? Oh my gosh, let me step out so I can hear you. Is everything okay? At the end of every conversation, and this could be a 4 a.m phone call or an 11 p.m. phone call, his words are, is there anything I can do for you, Colt? Um, and he always truly meant that. So it wasn't just his sign off goodbye, it was, you know, let me know what I can do to support um, and I really appreciate the work you're doing. And, and I think that his caring way and his focus on students um, is what I'll miss. I just want a, a special thank you um, to everybody that's made me feel so welcome, that have helped me do my job. That includes all of our educators, our support staff, our school board. Uh, would not, could not be here without your help and uh, the children of Beaverton are in good hands with such a creative, passionate, staff and school board and uh, you folks, uh, the community here is wonderful and uh, this is the place to, to send a child to be nurtured, to learn to grow and thrive. So thank you all for what you've done for these students.